What's up, what's up, y'all? Coast Gear Funny back at it once again. Joining for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's just one of them days out here. You know what I'm saying? Joining for what it's worth one of these days out here and whatnot, man. First of all, you know what I'm saying? We're going to put our little libation. You know what I'm saying? For the ancestors. You know? Got to show some love to the people. You know what I'm saying? It's for the ancestors and all those that passed away. You know what I'm saying? We passed it out for them. That's what we always done. Still here in the West, as it was in Africa back in the early days. A days are old. Ooh. I ain't had a beer in a long time, y'all. Kind of messed me up. Ooh, shit. Anywho. Hold on for a minute. Anywho, man. Came up here to talk to y'all, man. You know, about how the game done changed, man. First, let me hold on for a minute. Hopefully that help a little bit more, man. The game done changed, man. Me and my homeboys was talking, man. It ain't like how it used to be. You know, I'm below 40. You know what I'm saying? I remember times where, you know, even with times like this when it was cold out here in my state, you had to still be out here kicking and grinding and doing what they do. Now with a whole lot of laws around here, it ain't like that no more. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff done changed. From, from even from legal to, to legal activity, a lot of stuff done changed in the game and the way things used to be. You know, we gotta get focused on some things and prepare for the change and foresight, not in hindsight. You know, a lot of us, you know, we talk about hindsight, how things been going down. You know, we gotta talk. You know, we gotta be forward thinking. You know, a lot of these social anxieties coming down, they ain't helping in none to keep us locked in the house so they know where we at. You know. Cats, like I said before, cats should be out here, you know, doing their thing. You would see cats in the corner, you know, doing whatever they're doing. You would see cats out trying to grind and walk around, not really just grind so much on, on some illegal type shit, but just be out here trying to play around, you know. Back in the day, you know, when I grew up in the, in the 90s and stuff like that, right now we'd be out here playing football, you know what I'm saying? Young as hell, out here playing basketball still, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like that no more. You know, there's no community camaraderie, you know what I'm saying? There's no, none of that, you know. So, of course, social anxiety going to be up more, you know. Of course, other things like that going to be up more because there ain't none of that stuff going on no more. We had to start thinking, start making these you know, thoughts and progressions to make it go happen. You know, the game didn't change. And we can't be up here people of hindsight or, you know, well, we got to be foresight. Thinking collectively ahead of the, of the curve. You know, Dr. John Henry Clark said one thing that kind of, you know, that made some sense when I was watching one of his videos. He said, man, back in the day, you know, it was way back in times in Africa and stuff like that, where we had, you know, just a black think tank. That was just part of the nation building off rip, a black think tank. You know what I'm saying? Black people coming together, you know what I'm saying, male and female, thinking about what can we do to stop these problems and stop this stuff from progression. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got that no more. You know, in my little city that I'm in, in my Midwest state, you know what I mean? There's a um a recall to get the sheriff. I'm going to do a video on it. So they took 30 so-called black leaders. And the ones they put out there on the neighbor, you know, on the paper of these 30s, about, probably about like good, about a good seven. They all work for the city. And all got tied, like Carter G. Woodson said, they all got titles from the white man, which made them a leader. You know what I'm saying? But they're not really getting the job done. They're not moving nothing. You know, just the game done change. It just is, you know, we got to wake up to that. We got to see it for what it is and see it for what it's worth. You know, that stop and frisk policy is part of social engineering. You know, even walking down the street, for me to, you know what I'm saying, just go to the store and just to buy the unit, buy the beer. In my neighborhood, I done seen about three cops, three cop cars, riding in tools, you know what I'm saying? 
course, got the meme mug. Not me, it's about the police. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta we gotta really focus up. You know what I'm saying? It's a colonialization or colonized state that the black community's in that nobody's really speaking about or speaking to. We had to understand that we we still in the colonized things. These clothes we wearing, the food on our plate, like Thomas Sankara said, we didn't grow that. These clothes we wear, we didn't make these. You know, in order to be self sufficient, we can't let the enemy touch anything. You know, we can't let him touch nothing. But in order to be that way, you know what I'm saying, it got to be brothers and sisters willing to step up to the plate to make this stuff happen. Same thing on the, um, on the flip side when I did the video about the black woman. <coughs> and the Democratic Party. Most of the majority of black women, over 90, close to 96% of black women will vote Democrat. But they hold no leadership positions. You know what I'm saying? So we don't want to be out here as cannon fodder for these people. You know what I'm saying? Especially putting out one of our most treasurable people out there, the black woman out there to fight this battle. You know what I'm saying? We, as a collective, man, black male and female, the black community, need to come together and devise these plans. Come together by ourselves. Now, of course, there's going to be some rats around us. You know, that's unfortunate, that's expected. Unfortunately, that's suspected. But we got to figure out a way to get this shit out of the way so we can do our thing. Because it ain't going to get no better, people, man. It's getting worse and worse every day. Every day they got some type of social engineering entertainment stuff, you know. That's one thing about Trump that, you know, people like, ain't really listen to and pay attention to the trap. You know what I'm saying? Trump this, Trump that. They all, war, you know, all them sitting down there and they don't like Trump and all the presidents and stuff at Bush's funeral. They all war criminals. You know what I'm saying? Look, Jimmy Carter, look what he did to um, Andrew Young. Look at that. When Andrew Young went to meet, the, when went to meet the, with the PLO and talked to the PLO, they, they did him just like Lamar Hill. You know, same thing. And that happened before. Ain't nothing new. The same thing, we'll go to the next president. You know what I'm saying? Which is H.W. Bush. We really got to talk about him. Was he really a hero for American people like that? I mean, come on. Let's just keep it 100. Every drug addict you know, I mean, every drug addict you know, even for the older generations, older than 40, came from that man, from pushing that work. Really think about it. Yo. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Where I know about that guy. Look at the stuff you've been doing. You got to think about, man. We got to focus up. Anyway, I'm going to redo this video. Right now, I'm up here, you know what I'm saying? Getting glitzed. This probably won't even, your people probably want to see this video. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of love, man. I, I appreciate my life. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Things is getting a lot better, man. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate us. Even though I love being African. I love dropping history and love dropping knowledge. <coughs> I love doing this stuff, man. I love the fact that cats in my community know that I do this thing, too. You know what I'm saying? It's just a sense of, 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 of pride and sense of loyalty to me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That... I know this stuff, and I'll spin this stuff out here, and I spit it on the streets, and I spit it on this this, this channel, whatever, whoop -dee -whoop, whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? And cats respect that. Sisters respect that. You know what I'm saying? It just shows a lot of love. And I like to thank y'all, man, showing the love. So let's get back to loving our people, man. You know what I'm saying? And doing this thing, because, hey, you got to see for what it is. You know? And I love myself. You know, so I know people are like, you smoking weed and you drinking? Yeah, I know. I love, But I love myself. Don't even trip about that. I love me. You know what I'm saying? I love, you know what I'm saying, that I'm blessed with my ancestors features and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I love all that stuff. I'm grateful, man. And I'm very humble. All right, y'all have a good one. Peace.